Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with our drawing of the day. Today I am doing a chicken, which is one of my favorite animals. And I haven't done a chicken, I don't think in my schools this year, maybe I have, I can't remember. Um, but this is actually one of my favorite paintings because this is a folk art style chicken. So if you are painting this today, which I'm drawing, but if you're painting this with me today, um, it might be fun for you after coloring it with like just like one coat of color. I like to sometimes with this project put different shades of color over top and make all these little dots and dashes and it really makes a beautiful painting. So today we're drawing them. I am starting with Sharpie on paper. If I were you, I would start with pencil and eraser just in case you make a mistake. And then you can always trace over your pencil lines when you've got it exactly how you like it. You could always trace it over with Sharpie then. To start my chicken, I am actually going to start with most of a circle. I'm going to leave a little opening here, so that's going to be for the chicken's neck. Because I, when I do this chicken, I usually do a little ruffle around the neck, so I don't like to do the whole circle yet. I just leave a little opening here. So after I have this part done, I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken's eye on. And I'll put a little sparkle in that eye. And a lot of times when I do chickens, I will put like a little patch around their eye. Just like a little extra detail, a little extra color. And then the chicken's beak is kind of short. It's not like super long and it's pointed. And then it just has like a line in the middle, like this. And then to do the neck, I'm gonna swoop out like down, kind of like this. And then I'm gonna swoop kind of sideways like this. And then I'm gonna put like a little ruffle like that. And then after you have this little ruffle, I'm gonna do a big curve for the belly and just a line for the back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and connect these lines. There we go. So again, it's a big round curve for the belly and just kind of like a straight line for the back. And then after you have this part done, we're gonna go ahead and put a wing on there. And you can make your wing ruffly if you want to put like little, sometimes my friends like to put little feather lines in here. You can, you can go ahead and make it look a little more like a wing if you would like. After we have this part done, we're going to go ahead and put on the tail feathers. So the tail feathers, I'm going to make them really big and pointy, kind of like this. This one might even be tucked behind the other one. And I'm going to just keep putting them on and they're going to get progressively smaller as I get closer to the bottom here. So there I've got like a bunch of these curved tail feathers. Another big thing on these chickens is we're going to have like the this like pointy it almost looks like a mohawk like this on top. And then after we have that, we're going to go ahead and do the chicken's legs. So chicken's legs are just two close together lines like this. And then I usually do two toes out front and one toe in back like that. So two lines, two toes in front, one in back like that. And then we have our chicken. So um, the next thing I'm going to do with this one is because if you look at my painting, I really like detailed this one out. I put lots of really fun flowers at the bottom and then at the top I put like a sun. So really you could make this as creative as you want. So a lot of times I'll add like big flowers. So maybe this flower I'll do like a pointy one like this and maybe inside put another little detail and then I'll put it on a stem and then I'll have some little leaves. Like that. And another way I like to, these, I call these my donut flowers. So I'll put like a donut. And then I'll have like some wavy petals around it. And then again, like a stem. And maybe some leaves. And I might even have one more. Maybe I can fit like a little tulip or something up there. So here's another way that I sometimes will draw like flowers. Like this 
and another stem, and some little leaves. Like this. And then I like to put like a sun up in the corner. And with this one, I'm gonna put like the little triangle lines on my sun. And then I might even put like a little hint of another color in there, like that. And then if you wanna put your chicken on some grass, you can do that. I'm trying to figure out where I want this grass to go. It's perfect. All right, beautiful. So when you get to coloring, I think I'm done with my, my sketch. When you're ready to color this, um, you can really color it as many colors as you want. This one is one I like to do really colorful. But one thing that I always make red is this top part here. I always make this red. But really the rest of it could be any colors that you want. And again, if you're painting this, you guys can paint not only like, like this, but you can even go over. So say I painted this whole area, I could go with another color and put little brush strokes on here just to make it a little more interesting. And can you imagine, like when you look at mine, look at how cool this looks when you get all these brush strokes of different colors. So all these little details, you guys can add those. And you can add them if you're coloring too, but when you're painting, it is so fun to paint this whole thing one like different colors and then go over the top with, the, with other colors. So thank you again for joining me today um, to draw one of my favorite animals. Um, I am continuing to post these art videos every day at 1 p.m. So I really hope that you will join me again tomorrow.